Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Inno Roof Rack system with the 51 inch long crossbars and the through feet for raised side rails right here on our 2020 GMC Terrain. So your terrain is a pretty versatile SUV. You can take it out for long road trips, trips around town, but what if you also want to take it on different adventures and you want to carry a kayak on top or a rooftop box or a roof basket or even a bike rack? What you then need is a roof rack system first. So this is going to be the Inno roof rack system. We're going to talk about how we're using 51 inch long crossbars and the through feet and we're going to focus on the terrain. That way you can see what is the better fit for you, your different types of adventures, and your vehicle. I'm actually personally a big fan of this system for the terrain, even comparing it to some of our different brands. And one reason for that is because of the overhang or the length of the crossbar. With a 51 inch long crossbar, when you measure from the end of the tower to right before the end cap, we have an overhang of three inches. Now this is going to change depending where on your rails you're going to put this, but if you need accessories that can go sit on the overhang, that makes it easier to access, easier to reach that cargo, and lets you maximize your crossbar space. The next measurements are going to be your roof clearances, and there's two different roof clearances. One is going to be how much clearance is there from the top of your glass to the bottom of the crossbar. So measuring here, I have it at almost three inches of height. So if you have, let's say, a rooftop cargo box and that has a clamp that goes around your crossbar, that's how much space you have. Three inches is on the low side, but still decent clearance, especially compared to our factory roof rack. The next measurement is going to be how much height is added to the top of your roof. So measuring from the glass to the top of the crossbar, it sits just slightly over four inches. So that's gonna be where your cargo is going to sit. If you're carrying skis, snowboards, especially skis with extra tall bindings, you're gonna want a bit more clearance. If you don't have enough clearance, then you're gonna take a look at those carriers that give you that extra height. What I like about roof racks for raised rails is you get to pick and choose your crossbar spread. Although on the terrain, you don't have that much of a rail to work with. So where I have my spread right now, it's at 26 inches apart, which I think is ideal. You could move it as far out to the edge of your rails, here and here. So let's take a measurement for that. I'd like to say you can get around 34 inches of maximum crossbar spread. So another reason why this is one of my favorites is because of the end cap. So you have that nice shiny end cap, which I think matches with the trim of the terrain, but that's an aesthetic choice. In terms of practicality, if you take off the end cap, you then get access to the inside of the crossbar. So if you want to use T-Track mounted accessories, you don't have to cut up the weather strips inside, you just slide the T-Track mounted accessory through and tighten it down from there, pop the crossbar end cap right onto it. The downside is this does not lock though, so keep that in mind with your accessories. Now there are locks on the towers, so you have four integrated locks, you get two keys that match each of those locks, and that way you can keep everything secured. So compared to some other brands where you have to get the lock cores added on as a separate purchase, this is included with your roof rack and then you have access to the towers, making it easier for you to take off. Everything you need to install this roof rack is included with your kit. You don't need any extra tools, although there are some things that I use just to make things easier. One is going to be measuring tape. You want to make sure all of those measurements are correct. That way your towers are in the right spot. Also, pick up a pair of cam buckle straps. That way whatever cargo you have on your crossbars, you have them nice and secured. And I use the Moki Dorsep just to give myself that extra height and traction when I reach up there. I do like how close the terrain is to the ground though. I'm not reaching as high up there compared to some other vehicles. Now, let's take a look at that easy install process. Now to set up raised rail crossbars is gonna be super simple. You just need to make sure that everything is lined up. 
You are going to have a track on the inside, so you may have to push in on that track or tree. That way you can put your towers on. So take a look at the towers and see how they have tabs. With the tabs on the tower, they're going to line up with the tray on your crossbar, fit them into place, push down on that strap, and then you can get it through the track. Once it's through, it's not going to fall off, so you're ready to put this onto your roof. So we actually have some spots on our raised rails for factory bars, but you can actually pick and choose where you want to put your raised rails. So I'm gonna put them right over here and get everything lined up. So push your towers in against the raised rails and then you're gonna take some measurements for the end. So for your overhang, you want it to be about the same on each side. So I have three and a half inches here on each side. So now I'm ready to tighten it down. So the good news is you don't have to use any tools to tighten this down. You actually have a lever on the end to so just turn that lever and that holds the strap against your raised rails. Do that on both sides. And once both towers are nice and secure, you're then gonna get your locking end cap that fits at the end of your tower. Just push that in. Turn the keys to lock, do that for all four, and that's it for the install. So comparing this roof rack system with some other options out there, I personally am a big fan of the inner roof rack system. While it's not as well known as some of those other names, I think they do a really good job. They have the same weight capacity, you have that aerodynamic style, and you have that really easy to use locking system with those integrated locks. Now, if you need a more low profile look, let's say you don't want the 51 inch long crossbars, you can actually get the shorter crossbars that will also work with this set. If you want something that looks a little bit more rugged, you may want to take a look at the Rhino Rack Roof Rack system that has a similar style. It's actually easier to put that one on the race rails, although with both having easy processes, it's around the same. And that right there was a look at the Inno Aero Roof Rack System with the 51 inch long crossbars and the through feet for raised rails right here on our 2020 GMC terrain.